And instead, we get Mondo breaking the world record in the beginning of March after several attempts at 619. He had so many close calls, Gordon, and uh, he finally did it. 619 this year. 619. It is insane when you look at how in just a matter of a, like a couple years, Mondo has basically redesigned the all-time record books because if you bring up, Travis, if you bring up the uh, all-time indoor pole vault performances, mm -hmm. Mondo has just destroyed Bupka's dominance of the, the list because now Mondo has, has vaulted 619, 618, 617. Boom, boom, boom. Three in a row on the top. Uh, it's, I don't think it's ever going to slow down. He's still extremely young. He's like beginning his prime in a way. So I mm -hmm. think he's going to be vaulting 620s multiple times by when it's all said and done. Uh, really just taking a sport, wait for it, to new heights. Oh, goodness. Goodness me. I think there's no doubt he's going to continue to push this higher because he's had so many good attempts at 619. It wasn't as if he just had an amazing day where everything came together. This is, I think, where he's going to be able to to hit consistently in the next in the next couple of years. I mean, yeah, is he going to have days where he only goes 605 or 610? Sure. But I think 619, just how close he got on a number of attempts throughout the season, just tells me that he's ready to to go beyond this, you know, 6, 620, 622. I mean, I don't know where it's going to stop at a certain point. You are going to have to build a bigger building to accommodate Mondo Duplantis's vaults. The other step that he needs to take, though, if you look at the outdoor list, yeah, he's at the top, but there is the Sergey Bobka dominance after that, just the consistency of Bobka between, you know, the 610 and all the way through to 614 is quite remarkable. So outdoors, Yes, he has has that mark, but I think Mondo, being the competitive guy that he is, probably wants equal level dominance outdoors as he has indoors. My desire for him next is I want him to be the first ever to set his opening height at six meters. Like I want him mm. to enter a competition with that be his first fault, six meters, because he shows how dominant he can be uh, faulting over six meters, just showing like, hey, yeah, you know what? Everyone's lifetime PBs. That's my opening height. Like that's what I'm doing. Uh, yeah. That's what I want to see from Duplantis next. He's just gonna show up midway through the competition. Like yeah. he's gonna be warming up when everybody else is. He's finished. Is they're fighting for silver and bronze, and then Mondo comes in, and it's gonna be incredibly risky too because people are like, wait a minute, you're entering it at six meters. What are we doing here? <laughs> you need to make sure that you're, uh, you got to get a safe one. And you just be like, no, no, this is my safe vault. It's like six meters is exactly. gonna be the safe vault. Uh, yeah, this is. It, I was gonna know? say, who do you think's gonna lose first, Kipchoge or Mondo? But I think that's an easier question because Kipchoge only runs twice a year. So I think the answer would be Mondo. Yeah. And also, yeah, yeah. I mean, also, Mondo's 15 years younger than Kipchoge, too. Yeah. yeah. And you, when, you, when you vault so often, you're going to have a bad day. It's like, oh, I don't feel well, or just you make a mistake. You only get three attempts. Then, like, say, like, you brain mm -hmm. fart the first one, then you may have a bad move the second attempt, and then you're unlucky the third, and it's like, oh, it's done. So I don't. I don't Do you remember last think, year? He went 17 and 18. In quick succession, I think it's like a week apart. So I don't know if 19, I know we're getting to the end of indoors and world championships. Maybe the priority is not chasing the world record, but I do think that we'd be fools if we said, yep, this is where it stops. 619. Oh, yeah. He's done it. No. Yeah. I, I mean, it's, it's not going to go up by huge increments because the better you get, the harder it is, but it is going to be a centimeter here, a centimeter there. And uh, I, 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 there's no reason to think 619 is going to be what his lifetime PB is going to be. Right. What would you set the over under at? For ooh, lifetime PB over under will be six twenty three. I'll go over. Whoa, all right, over. Yeah, yeah, I'm optimistic. 
Do you know how small a centimeter is, Gordon? It's quite it's small. 623 and a half. 623 and a half. <laughs> Still going over. I think we're going to see a mid he only 20s breaks, from him. He only breaks world records by centimeter. So that means he would do it 20, 21, 22, 24 mm -hmm. more times. Do so you think he's going to break the world record five more times? He's 22. Yeah, I think he can. Okay. But I think he's going to have a years where he doesn't do it. I think sure. he's going to be done with his prime by like 20, by 30. So it's eight years. So I think every <laughs> other year. Eight years. Every other That's year. a lot of wiggle room if you think he's going to be at this level for eight more years. I think, I think sure. he's going he's gonna to have that similar outdoor level of um, – I think he wants to get his outdoor mark probably up to where his indoor mark is. So he probably wants to get the 620 outdoors too and then yeah. just completely dominate that, that all-time list. So Mondo, world record, what else is new? All right, let's jump into the NCAA.